rocks, 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 okay, rocks, 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 rocks. Hey all, Ryan here from Planetary Lapidary, and I am once again on the western shore of Lake Michigan. Just to give you a little bit of a time frame, it is March 4th. Um, it's in the low 50s again, so definitely was going to get out here. Um, I'm at my favorite beach, Rock Beach, um, right down there. And it's got an easy way to walk and it's got a hard way to walk. Um, I usually only walk the hard way a few times a year. Um, today is going to be one of those days, so hopefully we find something really cool that nobody else has seen because nobody wants to walk down there. But let's get into it. So first couple finds, I found a little piece of that brescia that I always find but a tiny little one with that yellow and then like the clear or translucent like smoky kind of um, so just a little piece so not gonna keep that just a tiny little scroll mat kind of a dirty one though um, kind of gritty so that one's staying a cool little piece of just a granitoid but it just had some nice mica flash on the end of it hopefully you can see that there all that little mica in there you know just a pretty typical granitoid and then i think this is a nice piece of jasper i'm thinking oolitic because it's all weathered out in those tiny little dot patterns but i might have to take this one home to cut it to see because i'm not 100 percent sure i'm not uh i'm not really familiar with jasper um so much yet but I think this is one, so I'm gonna take that guy home for sure, but I'm not gonna take much today, but this this one I think I'm gonna take. All right, so let's start uh, climbing over the treachery here and we'll find some more. from the dry rocks to get past some of this. And I just spotted this, just sitting in the dry rocks. It's a big old piece of Avisites. It's pretty sweet. Kind of can see all the little pockets there. A little bit of host on the bottom that's cool we got lots of these so let's uh keep going more cool things nice piece of diabase big old piece it's kind of what they look like all the time down here they kind of just look like black matrix with you know little tall white spots coming through but i do have some you know a little better ones than that so that's staying and then i dug this out from between some rocks too just a very crazy ceratophoride some pockets in there it's kind of dirty though and it's stained green a little bit so i don't think that one's coming home either all right onward just picked up these two kind of right next to each other this i would still call it a galaxy stone but when they have all these little ones in here like this then chances are there isn't any bigger stuff on the inside so i'm not going to take that one usually i like to see those agatized pockets instead of just having you know clear pockets like this so that one's gonna stay and then right next to that one i just found this little guy probably stromatochloride maybe some other coral or algae in there with it uh, yeah probably algae kind of looks like an algae plume there but just a really cool yellow color into some white up on top there again kind of gritty material so i'm not gonna keep that one either all right let's find some more more here i'm kind of lost my son so hopefully you can see him i think this is just a favocytes um maybe maybe a horn maybe some spermatophoride kind of just a big glob of mixture so that's kind of cool not a keeper though very gritty and then this kind of weird thing i'm guessing these are just chert like chert bands in here like right there you can see a couple little chert bands maybe just chirp in like limestone or something so that's kind of cool just to see the little wispiness all right let's go so just found this guy it's kind of like just a host nodule and then on the back of it it's got kind of like these two shells of betroidal i almost thought it was chain coral but i don't think it is i think it's betroidal something or other like layered up on here twice and then the whole circle's gone in the middle it's kind of cool. I might keep that one. Kind of looks like an eyeball. And it's kind of strange looking. Looks like a shell. Alright, let's find a few more. Just found this guy. Kind of one of those weird sandstone and chert, you know, mixtures. Really cool. A lot of really straight lines and stuff. Really weird. But not going to leave it. It doesn't have enough patterning in it. And then I found this big red one. And then, boom! <laughs> Just big green bottom to it 
So that's kind of crazy. Just like a nice thick layer of epidote on there, maybe. But very red. If it had more green in it, it might be cool for a free form. But... Alright, we're getting close to the end of the beach here. And then we are going to walk the dry rocks on the way back. But if I find anything else before we get to the end of the beach here, I will show you. At the end of the beach, I did just find this thing. Look at that piece of basalt. And I think that's all like a slice of orange feldspar on there. And then a ring around the other side, so like two slices. So that's pretty sweet. It's really big though, so definitely not coming home. But really cool. Alright, so let's walk back the other way. I'm going to hit some more dry rocks and I'll show you if I find anything. Okay, so I had to show you this bad boy. Big chunk of fossil soups from Adiporoid. And then... Big old cold water pocket with calcite and quartz or calcite in there. That's awesome. Just right on the top there. I didn't see any other pockets, but there might be some other ones. But that's really cool. So I might uh, I might have to keep that one too, just because that's one of the bigger ones I've ever found. All right, so if I find anything else, I'll show you. Otherwise, I'll get back to you when we're back at the car. Okay, so I am back to the car. I did throw that Jasper back because I wasn't 100% sure that it was a Jasper. So this is going to end up being the only one I kept today that want this really nice cold water pocket in here. You know, the big old fossil soup. Got that fossil soupy stuff there. Some stromat and stuff all throughout it. So really, really cool. Nice, really big pocket. All right, so if you like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.